Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tropic Marin channel. My name is Samuel Nietzscher. I'm a scientist at the University of Oldenburg, located in the beautiful Wilhelmshaven, and I'm responsible for running the aquarium facilities uh, that we already showed you in the other video. So if you want to have a look around the facility to see uh, what's living in here and what we're doing here, then please check out the other videos. In this video, I want to talk about the water that we use here in our facility because as all of you know, the water, the seawater, is the essential part of our tanks, right? So the water is the most crucial component of an aquarium, basically. So when we started quite a while ago, many years, <laughs> uh, we used, uh, we actually used uh, North Sea water. It's easy for us to get North Sea water because it's just across the dike. We can pump it in here. We treat it uh, with a skimmer and uh, sediment removal, etc. After that, we would analyze the water for inorganics with an ICP analysis to make sure the quality is very good. Sometimes you would find high levels of metals and you have to discard all the water and pump new water. So that's pretty tedious. But in this way, we can only analyze the inorganics. So we have no idea what organics are in the water. And there's quite a few organics in that water out there. So sometimes you have your uh, ICP comes back, everything looks brilliant. You use the water, suddenly the corals start to look cranky and you know something is not right. But we can't really detect. Even with our high technology gear in the lab, we cannot just fully analyze all the organics that might be in the water. So at that point, it was clear that we need a steady supply of really high quality water. And this is how we ended up with the salt we use right now. There's plenty of really high quality salts in the market. The one we picked for our needs is a Tropic Marine Pro Reef. It guarantees us a steady supply also over long term with the exact same parameters, which is really essential for running the facility in the long term. We know what's in there. And even more importantly, we know what's not in there. So that is something that is really important to us, especially since we also do toxicological studies. So we can't have any uh, contaminant that might harm the coral. Aside from the pro reef, there's other salts that are also produced by Tropic Marin that I can quickly introduce you to. Aside from the pro reef salt, there is Tropic Marin Classic Sea Salt, which has a higher alkalinity, a bit lower calcium, magnesium, and it's really good for fish tanks. That's not the case for our facility, so we run the Tropic Marine Pro Reef. Aside from these two, there is salt mixes that have uh, prebiotic components. That means components that help bacteria grow, that are essential for bacterial growth. Bacteria often have a negative connotation of like uh, contaminants and disease and all that, but bacteria are a vital component of the ecosystems that our reef aquaria are. So this salt comes with uh, components that promote the growth of beneficial bacteria. And then there is also the symbiotic sea salt that contains the same prebiotic, meaning bacteria stimulating components, but also starter culture of actual bacteria. So these two salts are uh, great for starting a new tank, but also a well-established tank that has been running for a long time. Uh, you can use these salts to, for water changes to refresh bacteria. In our case, we decided to use the Pro Reef. One main reason is that you can store these for a really long time. You can store it for weeks and we have a big water tank that supplies the facilities with water. So it's, it's in total is about 10,000 liters. So the water has to stay fresh for quite a while without changing the quality, right? So we don't want to have like too much biological activity in there that would have an impact on the quality of the water. These two salts that contain the prebiotic components as well as bacteria, in this case, uh, you cannot store that long, right? After mixing it in water, you should really use it within three to five days. So in conclusion, the seawater that we put in our tanks is the basis for a successful reef tank with nicely growing corals. So make sure you pick a high quality salt to run your tank. Dirty.